What's up, collectors? Today we got a box. What's in this box? I don't know what's in the box. But let's find out. First thing we got to do, though, we got to crack open our box. So let's speed through opening this box. So just so people will know, this box was given to me from uh, my little brother, Chuck the Knot. He, uh, he ordered something, and it took, I don't know, over a year for it to get here. So I'm really excited to see what's in this box. And let's get the big reveal out of the way. Ooh, look, we have our boy Zoro on the front of the box. Looking pretty sweet with uh, Enma. It looks like Enma's in his hand and he's using that hockey to, uh, to uh, uh, or Enma's draining the hockey if you read the manga or the anime and know what's going on. And hopefully the uh, contents of the box are representative of what's on the uh, face of the box but let's let's turn this around and get it to uh the right angle so you all can see man that's a pretty sweet looking box and uh let's open up the box let's get the contents of the box out we know that it is uh, something zoro related man it is has a lot of packaging uh we must be protecting something uh, pretty sweet let's uh get this tape off see what's going on here Ooh, ooh, we get a little sneak peek. Uh, I see we got a, a couple of layers going on, so we got some additional tape to cut off. Getting through the tape. And I think we're all set to get in the box, so take another quick peek. And come on in, let's take a look. What's in this package here to take off this top? Pop. And we have what's really nice, some really nice looking resin pieces here, a piece of wood, a card with Zoro on it. Pretty sweet looking. And I think a stand for said card. And we have, look at this, we have a scabbard. And we have one of Zora's swords. Holes. We have a bunch of little additional pieces here. Sorry, I'm trying to pull them out. We'll come back to these in a second, but that's not all. This part comes off. A little hard to do one-handedly. See if I can grab right here. I'm trying to find a good center of gravity. There we go. Push that to the slip. And whoo! Look at that. We got, I guess, what's gonna be the base. We got Zora's torso. Some heads. So let's look at each of these pieces a little bit more closely. So looking at the pieces that we got, you know you saw some of them, you have this big tree piece. closer look of the sword and this is like this has got some heft to it and our scabbard looks like a piece of clothing for Zoro I think these are the sleeves a little bit better look at the card. So I'm guessing this is the final pose we're going for. And we got a little stand for it. So we'll keep that, keep that off to the side for the time being. And that's only the first half. 
go over here, grab some of these other pieces. So we have what appears, so we have like, I guess these are like sakura blossoms. See these throughout. Might as well go ahead and pull the base out. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there's a USB cable. This thing light up. Oh, if this thing lights up, it's gonna be insane. Oh, this base. Oh, this base is so heavy. Look at this base. And this is the spot for the USB right here. USB type C. You have to plug that in afterwards. I don't know how I'm gonna get, get this all within scope. Like within frame. This can be monstrous. Here's Push this back a little bit. Here is Zoro's body. Let the camera a little with this hockey. And I don't even know where to begin to put this thing together at. It seems like a monumental test. So let me see if I can find some instructions. I'll be right back. So one last thing I wanted to show before we get into the building. We have Zoro's heads without bandana. Very spiky hair. And then we have this one right here with the bandana on. Which head do you all like more? Let me know in the comment section below because I'm YouTubing this. So it wouldn't be right if I didn't say it. Well, let's see if we can get some of this put together. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is move something out of the way. I'm going to elevate our camera a bit. Body. Bring this a little bit closer. See how this goes in. I think it's gonna go in something like this. Ah, this goes right in. Perfect. Let's see if I can figure out how this tree goes. Okay, so look, there is a big slot in the back right here. I gotta imagine that's where the tree's going in at. It looks like it goes like this. So there's a peg, we're trying to get the peg in the hole. Oh, yes, and we got it in. Well, there's magnets here. That definitely magnetized. So now I'm just trying to look at the entire photo because this is interesting. Like there are no we'll put his head on just so you all can see Zora's head. So we have a sword in one hand and the scabbard in the other. At this point, I'm just looking at pictures. I'm looking at the picture in the court to see what's going on here. It looks like it goes like this. I think. 
think this is gonna turn a little bit this way. So we're really looking at Zora like this. All right. I've got a sword in his other hand. Looking at the card, it looks like some of these come out of the skull that he's standing on. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty big one. So I think this is going right here. That seems to be correct. Let's look and see in here. This one is kind of crazy. I have no idea where it goes. Oh, and I completely forgot about Zoro's sleeves. Like, really cool figure, but no instructions on how to put it together. And like, no labeling as far as I can tell. That's a minor, a minor con though. Let's go here. Maybe I should have put the tree together before putting it on the base. for reference to kind of figure out. It looks like some of this glow goes, oh yeah, I think. Right, so I need to remove Zoro from the base for a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take his sword out, put it off to the side. I'm gonna take the scabbard out, put it off to the side, just for a second. I'm gonna take Zoro off the base. And we'll come back to Zoro's. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build out this tree. Uh, and we're gonna figure out where each of these soccer blues go. I think this one goes here in some capacity. That fit on. The good thing though is like everything just fits right on. So there isn't a whole, like, if it doesn't fit, then it, yeah, take it and move it somewhere else. <laughs> I realize I'm putting stuff on and it's out of frame. So let's do this real quick. So we got our tree built. So let's get back to Zoro real quick. We have Zoro, but there's a couple of things we need to put onto Zoro. So 
let's see what we're looking at. So we have these tabs right here. I believe these are for Zoro's sleeves. It goes right on. I think it's a mag, yes, it's magnetized. Oops. So once you get it in, it holds itself. All right, there we go. So we got that on. Moving forward, he has a little hole in his arm for this, oops, for this hockey. I believe this is Zora with Enma. Having a hard time getting this, this thing put in, so I'm apologizing because you may not see me putting it in. There we go. Got it in. Before I move on, let's see if I can fill out. All right. piece right here and I know it connects to something I just don't know where maybe in here oh, it goes right in there Oops. so I have this piece where does it go well if we tilt our camera down there's a very nuanced little gap right in here it just magnetizes right in so now that we got all the pieces in, let's put the Zoro back on. Zoro is back in. scabbard back in. Get Emma back in his hand. I believe that's Emma. I will look it up. Let's move it back. I know it's a put together. It's a put together. You know, I didn't get to see a whole lot of the statue being put together. out a little bit. Yes, you get a view of my kitchen. All right, there's one more. Ooh, hold on. We get a coin too. I love coins. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Pretty nifty coin. And we have these ornaments. I'm pretty sure I know where these ornaments go. We have six of them, we have six pegs. Seems like the perfect amount. I mean, I would say it's the perfect amount. Bam! Let's 
zoom that out a little bit. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Not gonna lie, if I had a face cam, I could see this big grin on my face at the moment. I have this spare head. But I think I like the bandana head.